In other words, that's a simple fact. If you tell me you're working out six days per week, two hours a shot, just like you did when you were 25 years old, the fact of the matter is, is you're not working out as hard as you did when you were in your 20s. There's no way that's happening. Well, hi, I'm John Hart. Welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Today, we're going over how often should you train? How often should you work out for maximum muscle growth, for maximum definition, for maximum uh, recovery between workouts, and the least uh, risk of injury, let's say. That's the best way to put it. The least risk of injury, overuse injury. So if we're into working out, and we're not talking about being a beginner now. If you're a beginner, I'm going to refer you to the last book that I wrote. It's called Year One in the Beginning. And I'll put a link down below in the video description of this video. That's for beginners in that first year of gaining maximum muscle mass. That's important for beginners, okay? That's a special group. But let's move on beyond that. If you're an intermediate to advanced trainee, then we're looking at how often should you be working out? Well, several answers for you. The first one is this. If you are a natural, that is not using any kind of anabolic steroids, hormones, insulin, you know, growth factor, none of those. Just running on your own test, running on your own great natural hormone levels that God gave you, and you have a good bunch of them, okay? If you are in that group, that's where I roll for, you know, in my bodybuilding career. If you're in that group, how often should you be working out? The answer to that one can vary anywhere from, oh, two to four times per week. Now, why such a variation? I'm talking about intense workouts. If you're in your 20s and you don't have a job really and you don't have a family and obviously all your job is is to go to school and to train hard with the weights, then obviously you're going to have a lot of great hormone in your system. You're going to be recovering really great at that stage in your life. Go ahead. Try training four times per week. Keep those workouts kind of short, really intense. I'd recommend taking a look at Dorian Yates' four-day-a-week workout routine. That one's a pretty good one right there. But no more than four times per week because you still want to have the ability to dig a hole of energy in all of your systems and then refill that hole and recover and grow. So you have to recover before growing. Recovery precedes growth. Remember that. So four times per week, if you're a young, young man or lady in your you know, 20s or teenage, that's fine. And then judge it from that point on. Keep the volume pretty low. Train really hard. Use some good weights on there and use a double progression. Increase the weight of the repetitions each workout within a certain repetition range. And you're looking at max four times per week. If four doesn't work and you notice that you're somewhat of a hard gainer, unable to put on any body weight, and you're eating everything but the kitchen sink, then and you are fully rested, then you need to cut back and go to three times per week because you're just not recovering from your workouts. And you need to increase recovery time or the ability for your body to recover and grow from those intense workouts. So three to four times per week. I say two was the low number earlier on because when you're young, it, it, we still have a spectrum of people. Okay, Everybody, the majority lands in the middle of a bell curve, and then we have these outliers out here. People over here can work out four, maybe even five times per week when they're young, strong, healthy, great immune, uh, immune system, great hormone levels. But on the opposite end, you do have those outliers who need to work out even less, that do not recover very, very well from anything, and they need extra rest. They need time to recover and then grow and still train very hard when they do work out with a minimal amount of work. They don't want to overdo it because it's too hard to recover from. So that's one group. But now let's talk about all the rest. Once you get past 30, 40, and 50, it, everybody almost kind of falls into a similar boat where you're not recovering as well as you did when you were in your 20s or at younger stages in your life. To deny such a thing is just that, denial. I said it. <laughs> so you're definitely not able to keep up and progress on those same workout routines you did when you were in your 20s. In fact, I don't hear anybody arguing. Okay, <laughs> I'll move on. So when we get into that stage of life and you're training in your 30s, 40s, 50s and beyond, how often should you work out? Bottom line answer on that one. I've trained at this point thousands of people in the last four decades. 
I've trained thousands of people, and I find and have found that unless they're hormonally enhanced, and that can either be with a little bit of a steroid, growth hormone, et cetera, et cetera, or the bodybuilding drugs, or simple TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy, if they're on that, then all the way at this end, we could say four times per week. Really intense training, four times per week. Again, I refer you to a Dorian Yates type of a workout. Brief, hard workouts four times per week, still leaving time to recover and grow between those workouts. But as I said, a little hormonally enhanced, which means they're, they're mimicking what they were or what you would be in younger stages in your life. Makes sense, right? But all the rest of us who are not enhanced or don't have the help of additional hormone or supplements, such as the ones that I just mentioned, all the rest of us, I've never trained anybody who needs to train more than three times per week. That's three, three workouts a week that are pretty much split body part workouts. I'm not talking about three full body part workouts where you're doing full body, everything, three times per week. I'm talking about doing, oh, just for example, chest and back on Monday, legs on Wednesday, shoulders and arms on Friday. For example, that's just an example. But a split routine. I do also what's called my ABA, BAB workout. That one, I'll put the link down below for that video where I called it the get big routine. That one as well is excellent for all the rest of us. What we're talking about getting in a maximum of three workouts per week. And that's again, training very intensely. Okay. And then after a while, after training that way, you're going to find that it's pretty difficult. Even with scheduled weeks off along the way, it's pretty difficult to maintain progress get any better, even in just certain body parts, because you're not able to recover. Keep in mind, dig a hole of energy, recover, grow. Recovery precedes growth. If, in fact, you're not able to recover from those workouts, well, listen, I'm saying this from my heart to you. The fact of the matter is, is the answer is not to do more when you're not recovering from workouts. The answer is, is do less. You have to do less within the workouts and or train less often. So if so facto, we're down to two workouts a week, which I find the majority of people over 50 thrive on training hard two times per week. Does that mean you can't go and do one other workout, not to failure, one other workout where you're training, just pumping the muscles? No, you can go ahead and do that if you want. It might even help your recovery. I've done that with some people at times, and it works pretty well. But for the most part, we're talking about two hard workouts per week. Now, as we get older, that's how often those workouts should happen. I am talking about on a split routine or full body. If you do full body routines, that's your choice. But either way, it's going to require as time passes and aging happens, it's going to happen if you're going to live past 20 years old, past 30. Past three. I'm not talking about being an old man or an old woman. I'm talking about just getting a little bit older, respectively speaking, respectfully to your own recovery, looking at how you used to work out. To anybody who's working out the same way today at 60 years, 60 years old, compared to when they were 25, if they're still doing that same six-day-per-week routine, training each body part twice per week, doing an average of 12 to 20 sets per body part, just like they did in their 20s, then I would say you're not progressing at all and you're living in pain because there's generally going to be some injuries and you're doing a lot of socializing in the gym. There, there I said that part too. You're not training hard. In other words, that's a simple fact. If you tell me you're working out six days per week, two hours a shot, just like you did when you were 25 years old, the fact of the matter is, is you're not working out as hard as you did when you were in your 20s. There's no way that's happening if you're natural answer. Now, if you tell me that you're hormonally enhanced, you're mimicking what you were when you were in your 20s. That doesn't account for, of course, the wear and tear on your body, which those tendons, ligaments, and joints are going to take a hit, and you're going to feel that eventually anyway. But don't let me digress. The answer is, bottom line, as we get a little bit further on in our careers, training an average of two to 
four times per week in that zone, depending on which group you fall in, just like I just described, two major groups. Two to four times per week, very, very hard, hard training. And then you want to go ahead and do something a little bit not to failure or just pumping in between if you want. Go ahead. You know, but I'd prefer if you go and you, oh, like a wise man once said to me, read a new book, learn a new language, start up a part-time job, do live your dream, start up your business that you wanted to start up all these years instead of spending every single day in the gym. Hey, work on your personal relationships with the husband or with the wife or with your friends. Maybe that would be the wise choice and still have a great body. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, as I said earlier, John Hart. Listen, before you go, let me recommend one thing for you. If you really need details on those workouts, okay, uh, I'll put a link down below, but also a picture of my book right here. Physique 101 uh, is a great book that I wrote with detailed workouts on how you can organize your workouts over the course of training, either on a three-way split or a two-way split. Great workouts as well as a foundational break-in routine is in there as well. So check out that book. Downloads are available on my website. Uh, hardcore, I mean hardcore, hardcover, <laughs> paperback available on Amazon. Links will be down below. Okay, I'm leaving now. Off to my left. You'll find the subscribe button for my channel. Please give that thing a tap if you're liking the videos that I'm doing. And then down below, off to your left, you're going to see a thumbs up button. That will let YouTube, the algorithm, know how much you're liking my videos. And I appreciate it so much. I'll see you next time. Thank you.